Yeah, we're doing something a little daring today. Now they're all closed down. Fourth pot of chicharrada. Peruvian purple corn drink. So we have some really good news to share. We just found out the other day that all the hospitals in Cusco discharged all their COVID patients. So that's really good to hear. And it seems like Cusco is in a really good situation compared to other parts of Peru. I was reading and Cusco has 158 confirmed cases and Lima region has 14,300. So they're not doing quite as well, unfortunately. So Lima is actually really struggling right now. They've had a rapid rise in cases in the last few days and the hospitals are having a hard time dealing with it. We actually had heard the good news about Cusco because that's where we are right now. And because we heard that, we figured that Peru is doing well and that the lockdown might not be extended because it's doing so well. But then we heard on the other side of the country, it's just not the same as it is here. And so we did find out that lockdown did get extended another two weeks until May 10th. And Peru actually has the second highest amount of cases in South America now. I think Brazil has the highest. It's kind of surprising that Peru is the second highest because they took really extreme safety measures from the very beginning. Good morning, guys. It's day 39 of lockdown, and we're still here in Cusco, Peru. So we're reheating some chicha morada, the Peruvian purple corn drink, and then we're cooking some rice. And look at this produce spread. We have a bunch of avocado, or as they say in Peru, palta. We have granadilla, mango, kiwis, lemons, limes, garlic, sweet potatoes, potatoes, some kind of plum. So this is Lindsay's third or fourth pot of chicha morada she's made now. And this time, because you guys told us different ways to make it, she had to change a few things in this one. So this time she added the lime and sugar after. I'm not sure if that'll make a huge difference, but let's see. Mmm, chicha morada is our new drink. And also we're having it hot again because we just boiled it, but you guys were saying that typically, traditionally, you have it cold. So. I like it hot better. We are gonna make breakfast nachos. All right guys, here is the finished product. We have double layers of mm -hmm. chips, rice, cheese, egg, avocado or palta, tomato, ukuchuta sauce. A little breakfast for a potato head. Hot dog pieces, rice, eggs. He loves this. How are you liking the view? Great view. All right guys, it's that time of the week. We're going out to a market or two and stocking up on food for the next two or three days. Switch to the undercover camera. All right, we're doing something a little daring today. We're going a new direction. We're just going on some of these really small cobblestone streets and hoping that we end up at one of these markets. Look at all that toilet paper. We don't know if they actually sell this. Sometimes they don't. Depending where you go. That's where we go. All right, I'm here. All right. There's nobody on these streets. Look. Every direction. Empty. 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 Oh wait, there's a dog. <laughs> Empty. Look at this. 
all the way down there, nothing. The first day we got here, we spent a lot of time looking at all these different tour shops looking for a Peruvian sweater. Now they're all closed down, they can't do any business right now. We're lucky we got ours early, right before the lockdown. Because <laughs> it gets cold here sometimes. So I can just imagine that all of these streets here, they would have been just covered with people, with tourists, just a month ago. And now we have all of these streets to ourselves. Cusco probably hasn't been seen in this way for a while, ever. <laughs> So I don't think we're gonna get the ingredients to make a traditional Peruvian dish today, but we have something else in mind that's gonna be pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all of these dogs are following us. Mr. Potato Head has a following. <laughs> He's famous now <laughs> because of the channel, obviously. All right, we have to get Mr. Potato Head some food. So Lindsay's gonna go into this little market here. <laughs> oh no. So we take in another dog. You got it? Got it. Look at him. And the other dog's behind you. Dogs must talk or something, because every time we go out and we come home, somebody follows us, one or two other dogs, every time now. They are all attracted to him. It's so odd. <laughs> and now there's this gang that protects our area, our neck of the woods, and they always get in a fight when we bring new people. So this other dog, this other white dog, he follows us home every day now. Somehow he finds us. What should we call him? Hey, what's your name? We can't adopt all three of the dogs, just Mr. Potato Head. But we wanted to give them a little bit of food. We have Groucho and Rover here. We'll see if they like dog food. <laughs> I don't think he does. Ah. All right, well, they will take some water. They're both drinking out of it now. All right, I'm gonna take it back. See you later, doggies. I'm sure you'll follow us home tomorrow. We're home. Okay guys, so we just got back from the market and we really wanted to cook a Peruvian meal, but everything just seemed a little bit too difficult for us today. <laughs> so we decided to go with something completely different. Something simple. <laughs> So we decided to do homemade popsicles. <laughs> so we have yogurt, just plain, plain vanilla yogurt here. We have mango juice, pear juice, milk, maracuya or passion fruit juice, more milk and orange juice. And then we have granadilla and we will put these fruits inside. We have these plastic cups and then these sticks. So that's how we're gonna make these popsicles. Avocado cut. Heavy whipping cream and avocado. And then for the brown sugar, sweeten up this avocado. Mash that up. All right, now we're making the pear ones. So pear juice and slices of pear. And look, these are the pear ones, ready to go. We're gonna do maracuya and the heavy whipping cream with granadilla seeds inside. We're making a popsicle mango with heavy whipping cream, mango juice, and mango pieces. Good 
chop. Butterfingers over here. Look how good these mango cream ones look. We're gonna make an orange cream aguaymanto. So this fruit is kind of new to us, but it's a little bit citrusy, so it kind of tastes a little bit like an orange, but also a little bit like a tomato. And so if we do little pieces of this in the orange creamsicle, I think that'll be really good. Now we're doing mango kiwi. This one might be the best one. Mango kiwi, mango juice, and heavy whipping cream. Oh my god. And Potato Head just woke up from a nap. So we've been eating the same thing for breakfast pretty much every day. Eggs, rice, avocado, and tomato. So we thought it'd be cool to make a breakfast popsicle. So we have some vanilla yogurt. We're gonna put some strawberries in there and we'll put some chia seed in there and flax seed. So, healthy. <laughs> We had to splurge and do one dessert popsicle, so I'm doing a little bit of ice cream with heavy whipping cream and crushed Oreo. <laughs> we made 32 popsicles or paletas. Pear, orange aguaymanto, strawberry mango, maracuya, kiwi mango, strawberry flaxseed, chia seed, avocado, can't forget the polta. Now we're gonna have to impatiently wait for the next two, three, or four hours for some of these to be frozen and ready to eat. They'll be ready for dessert tonight though. Oh yeah. <laughs> you guys should try it. And it's cheap and easy to do, so any of you can do it. So if you do it yourself, you should let us know. Tag us or something. So which one are you most excited for? I'm excited for the cookies and cream one, and then I'm excited for the mango kiwi one as well. And the avocado, because that's my favorite food, so. I'm really excited for the pear one. I liked the pear one last time, but with the pear pieces in there. Whatever one we put granadilla in, Ooh, what was that? Granadilla yeah. maracuya? Yeah. I want to try those little pieces of granadilla in there. I want to bite into those little bubbles. <laughs> Which one did you guys think looked the best? You should comment below and let us know. All right guys, it's Q&A time. So the first one is from Jumping Places. So Jumping Places is another YouTube channel and they're stuck in El Nido, Philippines right now, also on lockdown. And Jumping Places asks, will a part of you miss this period of your lives when it's all over? Yeah, it's really weird because when this lockdown first started, we thought it was gonna be like the worst thing ever. But as time has gone on, we've adjusted and we actually really love parts of lockdown. Uh, it gives us a lot more time to sleep, plan our travels. <laughs> We've been cooking meals together, which is really fun. It really shows that people can adjust to anything and you just kind of adapt to the situation that you're put in. And so that's what we've done and it's gonna take some adapting to get back to traveling and being on the road and doing things constantly. So we will miss this the slow pace. Yeah. All right, the next one's from Paola O. What is your favorite Peruvian dish if you have had the opportunity to try them? Also, have you guys tried making any Peruvian food? We are gonna try to make more Peruvian dishes. We just have to go to the large supermarket, which is further away from us to get all the ingredients that we need. But some that we are thinking about doing are right. papa relleno, papa a la huancaina. We're struggling here, <laughs> hope. Peruvian words are hard to say. Eros chafa? Koi. We have to try koi also. Yes, but, but we don't want to make that. Yeah. Someone else can make that for us. So we'll try to make some of these simple ones, and then once we get out of lockdown or they start doing delivery services again, then we're going to try as many Peruvian foods as we can. So supposedly, we heard from uh, one of our followers that they're going to be allowing delivery services probably sometime soon. And we will take full advantage of that. Mm-hmm. 
So basically all we've made that's Peruvian is drinks. So Pisco Sour and Chicha Morada. Our next one is from JP Mancada. He said, whatever happened to the Venezuelan guy you ran into in episode two or three? Have you met anyone else while on your errands or dog walks? So Caleb is supposedly still around. He sends us messages every once in a while, but we just haven't met up again. We are trying to stay away from people. We're supposed to, so that's also why we haven't really met many other people either. There is a Turkish man who is right below us right now. He's living in the Airbnb right below and he's stuck here as well. Uh, we've talked to him a couple times. And then the other day while we were at the market with Mr. Potato Head, a woman saw Mr. Potato Head come up to me all excited and she was like, oh, is that your dog? And we started talking and she said that it must have been like a week before we got him, so like three weeks ago, she tried to take him in and she tried to put him in a dog kennel and he did not like that, which was not surprising because he <laughs> likes to be around people and he likes to roam. But she said because he didn't like the dog kennel, she couldn't keep him and so she felt really sad and stressed out about what was gonna happen to him, but she saw how much he loved us and that made her feel happy, she said. So that was kind of cool to meet someone else that tried to take Mr. Potato Head in. Okay, the last question here is from Sal Martinez. What did you guys do for a living before ultimately quitting to travel the world? Also, what did your parents say about your decision? So I've actually been traveling for many years now. I started maybe five or six years ago, but I've been doing this YouTube thing for the last three years. So that's been my job for quite a while now. And I have another channel, so two channels now. And that's how I live and what I do. And my other channel is called Alexander Travel Bub, which I will link below. And before I came to travel, I was a psych nurse for almost seven years. And my mom was very supportive about me coming to travel because she knew that it's something I've been wanting to do for a while. So she's like, go do it. All right, that's the end of the video. We love getting your comments, so make sure you leave some other comments and questions below. If you want us to answer them in this Q&A, make sure you write Q&A before you write your comment. And as far as our videos go, we're still going to be posting those every other day and we're going to aim to have them released at 12.34 Peru time. One, two, three, four. Cusco time. <laughs> Easy to remember. So we will see you in the next video. Do you want postcards from around the world? Right now I am writing and drawing on postcards to my subscribers. If you want to join my Patreon, click the link below. You'll be supporting the channel and you'll be getting something pretty cool with a drawing from me. Hey, thanks for making it all the way through this video. If you want to watch more, click one of these videos. Subscribe because I'm traveling all around the world and I'm sharing the whole thing with you. Thanks.